Welcome into the stream, everybody. We are here live with the final round of the April Build a Warlord tournament. Uh, my opponent today is someone I've played, I think, three of the last four tournaments. Uh, someone from my local playgroup and who I test against. It is Lust Luna 34 uh, Welcome into the stream. How you doing, man? Hello, hello. Doing all right. Uh, aside from a little bit of an injury and a hiccup with my dog this uh, last week, everything has been pretty good. That's too bad to hear, but glad you're good outside of that. Um, yeah. So we have... And he's doing all right, so we're okay. Oh, that's great to hear. Awesome. Yeah, I kind of heard about that. I know you had to miss the map because of that, so I'm glad it sounds like he's doing better. Yeah. Um, so the Warlord that we're going to be playing against, it is notably level 4, but that is not going to slow him down at all, is Tigress Glynn, an Elf Warlord scout with Marksmanship plus 10, and note that plus 8 skill as well, so anything but a 1 on the Marksmanship check. She can choose 2 options with the Marksmanship feat, and then order once per turn for a plus 3 strike. So, I don't want to spoil too much, uh, just so you don't tune out of the stream right away. But all I'm going to say is it is going to be an uphill battle for me as well. Those Adonal Rowans are going to be coming in and just making light work of those Kunda Vils as well. So it, it, it'll be a tough one, but uh, hopefully we get a couple good games out of it. <clears throat> but I am ready to get started if you are, man. Yep, sounds good. All right, That's good initial. luck. Same to you. All right. Um... Oh. Looking up what we got here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to roll those 50 50 shots plus zeros at Kundaville. Sounds good. Got one. And we'll target the center Kundaville. Oh, I'm playing Akapara in rank four. Ooh, that's a new one to me. Yeah, I hadn't seen him before I started building this deck, but he works out pretty well. He's come in handy a few times, and just a nice level 4 to have her rank building as well. Fair enough. <clears throat> well, let's try it again. Uh, center Kun Devil. Yep. Oh, the 2 again. That one does not like being shot at. Yeah, with 19 again. At least you're consistent. They were 50 50 shots. It was fair enough. <clears throat> Let's play a Bloodsteed on Kyra. I will equip a Flare Glass. I want to go about doing this. Spend Bloodsteed to move back a rank for now. <clears throat> Sounds good. I'm going to bring the Warlord forward. Okay. Marksmanship, you instantly shoot there. Yeah, I'll play Falen's Rowan, and I'll spend React. Okay. Um, and we'll take a shot at your warlord. It's plus two. Sure, sounds good. Missed by one. I'm gonna do the order strike on the warlord. Yep. Marksmanship check. Oh Oof. wow! All right. Um, <laughs> I guess we're gonna target. The stun Kund Devil and spend React all three Adenians to give it plus six. Okay, so you have a plus nine at it. Okay. Yep. Um. Yep. Yeah, I'll fire that off. All right. And you got him. I'm all right. That with a rapid shot to target the other stunned Kund Devil, or actually okay. the ready Kund Devil. Uh, yeah, it is just melee strike, so go for it. I will get him. Any more reacts, or is it my go? Nope. Okay. Man, that yeah. one on the marksmanship is definitely going to prove to probably have been pretty critical here. But 
I will play an order on uh, Kyra to look at the top five. Sounds good. No reacts. Do I want that? Do we want a shuffle? Hmm. Can't do anything there. Had we not done that, we could do that potentially. That could be helpful. I think we'll take off the top. All right. Back to I you. Am, I am going to pass. Ooh. I'll play a black wind. All right. Pass. All right. Spend order with Bakbu. Bring the black wind up. <clears throat> Still passing? Yep. Okay. Throw the Wand of Negation on my Warlord. Uh, just jump in if you want to take a move. No, I'm still passing. Okay, I'll move Blackwind up. Causing everybody to fall. I will discard the Bloodsteed to move to Bakbu's rank. Correct ranks. And we can take out all three. Let's just swing with Blackwind going on Adina. Right. Oh, that's going to miss. Wow. Should have done the spend order. Oh my gosh, I should have done the spend <laughs> order. Wow. Right, on that you've got nine on a 12 which is usually guaranteed but usually dc 14 it's, it's pretty likely that i'll lose two of them at least yeah i've had not amazing luck with that i just figured taking out two of them was going to be automatic especially if an adonal came up but man uh, i'm gonna pass all right uh Something tells me I don't need Steel Fate here. Steel Fate, after opposing opponent plays an action card, cancel the action. Ooh, I think you should hold on to that. That could be very uh, helpful for me. I'm, I'm not going to let you draw five cards. <laughs> you don't think so? No, I, I think I'm good. Okay. Got a 12. That's something. All right. I'm going to spend order for an improved invis on my warlord. Neat. <clears throat> two turns of having stealth. I think it's two turns. Not being targeted. Yeah, the end of the next turn. Yep. All right. Well, in that case, I am going to uh, order range strike, marksmanship check. Yeah. We're going to do five and an additional wound, and triple react with the Adenias. Okay. So you're looking at plus eight, plus 14? Is uh, that right? Yeah. Okay. Currently 14. Um... And that's for two wounds. I will break the far glass and a crypt wine for 14 for four wounds on Blackwind. Nice. On the dot. Wow. Nice. Well done. Well done. Uh, I'm going to order with Kyra to look at the top five. 
All right. Yeah, uh, that would be helpful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, we'll take off the top. <laughs> All right. I'm going to spend back in a Donald Run. Actually, no, I'll spend back to the Warlord. Okay. You play a Conjure Doom, and I will choose to discard two off the top. Now remember to draw to discard this time. So it is two actions. There goes my change leader. My leader's nope. invisible right now. I don't need to change anything. No, Mason, you're not allowed to have Supremus as a warlord. <laughs> I did that. Did you see that match where I did that? No, I heard about it, though. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that... That yeah, went there well. Was, there was some um, so I did the uh, Conjure Doom, so it's your go. Okay. I'm going to drop in a Lost Bride. Uh, no back alley from me. I do have a Torin, though. Uh huh? the best way to do this sure <clears throat> i'm gonna give lost bride a journal entry mm. i'm gonna torn and i will ditch mm. can't do that yeah we'll ditch patroness Kiro to look at the top five Okay, okay. I think that's the way to go. Just remembering that for next turn. Okay. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, well, back to you. All right. I will crack the journal entry. Yep, should have wanted negation that. Yep. Oh, well. <clears throat> I'm pretty funny if I grabbed a back alley off the top. I'm going to grab a fairy bolt. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'll Wait, play. Oh, that is not correct. I am not allowed to grab that fairy bolt. Uh, it does say that this character can perform. So. Oh, that's right. It's too high of level. Um, I could grab a crypt yeah, wine, steel fate. Can't do rapid shot because he's not a scout. Because she's not a scout. You you don't see what was in my hand slash on the field. I'm just gonna go with the meat at the end. Okay. I'll shuffle that. Oh no! You know I have fairy bolt. <laughs> <laughs> we play tested, man. I knew it was in there. Yep. That's a good one to have. I'll play an Evan Scourge. Sounds good. I will uh, use that uh, meet? Back, or meet, meet at the end with a ready of Donald Rowan. Okay. No reacts other than getting my own card. I'll play a Kill Dragon. Nice. Is this a discount Jin Velford deck going on? <laughs> <laughs> um. I'll equip an unseen arrow. 
It's just Jin Valford with extra steps. Right. And way better support. Yeah. I will blank that on Scenario just in case you have shenanigans coming. Aww. You know, you never know. Seems safe at the time. I'm gonna bring up a planar O'Donnell. Sounds good. I am gonna bring up a kill dragon. I think that's the right move. Plus ten and a plus eight. It's plus six six five four. Completely mess with that. Uh, Let's just be stunned. Hmm. It's only a DC fifteen. I, th I think we gotta grab the Ebon Scourge actually. And right, I'll just stun myself for you. <clears throat> How friendly! Right. What a pal. All right, let's make an Adina do a DC 15. Sounds good. Gonna get it, too. Uh, the, uh, the Evan Scourge? Okay. Yeah, yep, from the Evan Scourge. Oh my Succeed. gosh. Those things are untouchable. I will play a Lost Bride. I will swing on an Adinia. All right. Oh my gosh, it still hits, but man. Uh, we'll go on another Adinia. Sounds good. And it still hits on the nose. Oh my gosh. Those things are so much more trouble than they're worth. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of them most of the time. Um, I'm just trying to kill them. That's where my trouble lies. I'm going to give this Lost Bride a portable hole. Would have been a good one to blank. Um, let's play Falens, spin react, and we'll take a shot at your portable hole, Lost Bride. Sure. That will miss again by one, notably. Um, yeah. I'll have her move up the full three. When it's two ranks. Yeah. Two, yep. It used to be to any rank, and that was very good. Yeah. It was like any rank, as so long as it did not make the rank illegal, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, and it had to be within your army, obviously. But yeah, it's still a very good card. Um, I think we'll just do that. Let's find out the conjure. Yep. Alright, uh, I will play yet another Lost Bride. Oh my gosh, so much card draw. I think I am going to pass again. Or not again. I'm going to pass. I will crack the portable hole for a card. Actually, okay. no. I won't. Um, You're I'm worried. I have a back Cali Tavern now all of a sudden. No. I'm, I'm looking at my max hand size and not wanting to discard cards. <laughs> uh, no, I've just been holding it for when you least expect it. Yeah. Clearly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll spend four with the other Lost Bride and call it good. All right. Sounds good to me. It's got one more turn on the Improved in Fizz. Um, is it one more turn? It was the end yeah. of the next turn. I played it last turn, though, didn't I? Was it last I did not put a counter on it, because normally I don't have a hard time remembering that, but... Yeah, this is only, uh, turn three. Okay. Because you've shot twice, you took one yeah, shot... Yeah, it, on, it was on turn two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're right. Okay. I think I'll hold... I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna hold that one. Here. I'll pitch a strain a shot. <clears throat> See, last two cards. Okay, out of ten. Uh, 
Let's swing with an Ebon Scourge. We'll go on Adinia. Sounds good. There's a solid hit, finally. Uh, I've lost my... Mm -hmm. No, not 16 ranks yet. There we yeah, go. we'll go on Adonal. Not gonna get there, because planer. Conjure's got 8-4-2. Yeah, I wanted to go for the plus 10 in Edmund Scourge. I just don't trust those Adinias one bit. Yeah. Um, I'm going to order on the Warlord. Marksmanship check. Okay. Succeeded. I'm going to go 5 and an additional wound. Um, and I will crack Unseen Arrow for another 3 and an additional wound. That's right, it adds plus 3 as well. So, <laughs> 11 for 3 on Conjure Doom. Okay. That could come some problems. One short. It's, it is 16 AC. Wow. Let's, uh, let's blank that portable hole. Sounds good. Yeah, I was trying to kill the Adinia just to make your strike smaller to get that plus two out of there, but I completely forgot that uh, Unseen Arrow adds an extra plus three as well. Oh, I've, I've got plenty of other other bonuses. Oh, well, I know you have more. I was just trying to make it as small as I could, not realizing what was on the field itself. Um, let's order with Kyra. Look at the top five. Any reacts to that? Nope, no reacts. <laughs> I think we shuffle and card. All right. Um, I'm just going to load up another Unseen Arrow. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Maybe we don't do that yet. Uh oh. No, that would cause problems. Hmm. Yeah, let's torn. Let's ditch that. Peep five. Card. Call it good. Oh, plus two on Conjure Doom. Okay. There's one. Let's play Drasic. Good old pal. Friend of the channel. Right. <laughs> so, so Drasic, Drasic Resplendent emote when? <laughs> I'm working on an Asherain emote just to get something yeah all right uh another plus two on conjure doom okay no let's order with ebon scourge to make an adonal do a dc 15 all right nope all right there's one he's gonna is he suffer two wounds okay yep. yeah all right so he's going to die and react to do a DC 13. Uh, 16? Oh, yeah, DC 16 with a plus 3. Yeah, okay, yeah. And he fails it. Back to you. Um, I will spend up a Lost Bride. Okay. I have a Supremacy. That is a supreme supremacy. Very supreme. Um, still passing. Passing, okay. Uh, let's swing with a Conjure Doom. We'll go on your portable hole, Lost Bride. Sure. Uh, 19, there's one. 
and plus four. That's two. And let's send that plus two at O'Donnell. No good. I'm passing. Okay, let's just figure out how much cheese we want. I think that is the right move. We'll spend order and move Supremus forward. Um, we'll play Night Scale and order him forward and spend him one more rank. All right. Let's drop Conjure Doom in four, and it'll fall forward one rank. Um, let's see here. Let's play Bloodsteed on Kyra. And how do we want to play this? I think that's probably the right move. That's Bakbu with Kill Dragon. Um that's probably a good one to keep. This was on top, I don't even remember. Um, we'll spend Belen's forward a rank. No, I'm sorry, we'll spend him backward a rank. And then Kill Dragon will fall. We will order Kill Dragon forward. And we will spend order with Drasic for change of leadership. All right. Um, let's swing with Kundavil. We'll target O'Donnell. Is that six AC? Need an eight or better? No. I would have hit Lost Bride too, even off the Kun. Um, think. Well, let's spend Akpara forward. It's one more strike next turn in case Supremus can't get it done. <clears throat> and. I think that is where I will pass to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got it. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to pitch this and pitch that. No, I'll either pitch that. That's right. That's what else was on top with Torin. Nope. Well, I'm pretty sure you kill me on initiative, so. Possibly. Let's see here. Because, yeah, I don't think you're sniping Drasic. I could miss every strike with Supremus. You never know. It's incredibly unlikely. I'm just going to make the order strike uh, marksmanship check. Seated marksmanship check will go extra rank and a plus five. Okay. Um. So we're currently targeting in your second rank. Um, I'm gonna point blank shot to draw a card. Nice. We will target the Torin Yiskar. Okay. And react. Lucky shot to retarget your Conjure Doom and give plus three to the strike. Target additional then... rank of the way. Okay. And then I'm going to. Um, uh, I guess it, it it doesn't matter that you target Torrent because it does say before you target. It. So I mean, I, either way, you can target the Conjure Doom. I just don't think you have to target the Torrent oh, first. Oh, that is correct. Um. 
I keep getting it confused for Wheels Within Wheels. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so going on the Conjure Demon 3, you're currently at plus 5, uh, plus, plus 3 eight. off of the Lucky Shots, plus 8, and then plus 3 off your base. So, um, and then I will uh, crack Unseen Arrow. For 14 for 2... Or was it doing two wounds already? It was doing two wounds already from the marksmanship check. I thought you want additional rank and plus five. You did additional rank and additional wound. Additional and plus five. Um, we'll strain the shot. Make it easy for you. Sure. Um, so now it's three so wounds, right? Five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, four, yeah. three wounds. Okay. Yeah, makes things interesting. So you got that. Um, got him. Literally, literally just shoot your conjure doom out of spite. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that was the best move on the board. It was. Get rid of you, oh. you, and you. Oh, Akapara and Kuhn are dead as well. All right, we'll spend order with Supremus. Watch, I'm still going to blow this. So we'll get a plus nine on your Warlord. Okay, well, or we'll get it on the first roll. Yep. All right, to game two. Game two? I did not expect that to go so well. I mean, I obviously, had, you missing least... the marksmanship early sucked for you. Yeah. I think had that yeah. not have oh, missed... Oh, no, you're running the uh, improved invisibility as well, so that'll help. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if I get that opening hand, I can get a niche. That'll definitely slow you down. My computer's been begging me to restart during the stream, so if if I go dark, you'll know why. Fair enough. No, for now, but... No way, okay. Improved in Viz. Well, I do not have uh, uh, action cancellation, so you get an improved invisibility. Wow. Um, I thought with the four, I was I was done for. I'm going to play out in a Leia and <clears throat> shuffle this card. I will react with a back alley. All right. Um, I will order with Kyra to look at the top five. Any reacts? Nope. All right, what do we have? What do we have? Hmm. That seems... Since we'll grab a card off the top. We did the end. I will react with a back alley. Off of Kyra, obviously. Only legal target. Play Falen's Round and spend React. We'll take a shot at your Warlord. Sure. There's one. <clears throat> Lost Pride and Forge. No back alley this time. Got a Garth Drak in five. Shuffle okay. the card. Yeah. Down a siren spawn in six. Okay. And we'll give the warlord journal entry.
Yeah, can't blink it this time, even though I'm remembering it. Let's put a robe of eyes on to Kyra. All right. And I will actually put the counters on improved invis this time, just so we don't forget. Sounds good. Portable hold? On your Warlord? Yep. I will spend React with Garth Drak to exhaust that. Sure. That's Robe of Eyes. We'll pitch Change of Leadership to get a card. I will portable hole forward. Okay. Let's put a Bloodsteed on to Kyra. Order for a range strike. I will Marching. spend React with Kuhn to exhaust that. All right. I will Bakbu. With Siren Spawn. <laughs> Plus zero off of O'Donnell. I'm going to triple react the Adenia Genesis. Okay, so you have a plus six on a Coon. A ready one, I assume. Um, I'm going to react Far Shot. And react strain the shot to target your Baku and Bala. Oh, clever. See, he is a scout. Okay. Go for it. I got nothing. That hits. Um except for wound after the strike, okay. That's Bloodsteed to move forward a rank. Um, I'll swing on the Spent Coon Devil. Okay. I will order forward with Siren Spawn. Strike on Spent Coon Devil. Okay. Got him. Uh, Siren Spawn will do a spend order. We'll go on your Warlord. Sure. That's two. Game. Good game. Uh, that is not at all how I expected that to go. Honestly, I thought it was going to be like a 15 minute match and you were just going to snipe me first couple actions. I mean,. Obviously, the improved invisibility was clutch. The exhaustions kept you at bay, but uh, uh, I still think the both opening hands I got clogged with a whole bunch of draw or the two uh, steel fates in the opening hand for the first first round there. And didn't uh, the steel fate have uh, gotten rid of the improved invis, or you just didn't want to give me four cards? You played improved invisibility on turn two. I opening hand drew both of my copies of Steel Fate. Oh, that's what you were saying. Okay, I thought you meant both games opening hand. So I thought you had it game no, two. No, this opening hand, uh, I had two copies of Alea and a whole bunch of card draw, but nothing to reach you, and you already had improved into visibility. So. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, getting that opening hand was very clutch, and then you rolling the one first game, I think had those two things been different, it would have been a very different matchup for sure. Yeah. Well, that's but, that's the name of the game is rolling dice. So yeah, that's true. No, I mean I really like your deck. It for those watching and stream. Honestly, I expected this matchup to go so poorly because he absolutely kicked my butt in play testing. I did not beat him one time with this deck. And if you watched my uh, uh, classes and session matchups in February, where I tried to play Sorolia Calix as a golden gun, uh, Les Luna's deck is far better than that one. Um, 
He, he had some really bad rolls this tournament. I mean, what was it? Yeah. Two rounds ago, you rolled the one, the two, and the one on the three kill shots? Yep, I uh, I had three rapid shots in hand and rolled a one, a two, and a one. All three of them for three wounds on the Warlord out of uh, four of his HP. So That's just painful. Yeah. So, I mean, like you said, a dice is the name of the game. I mean, you can have the best deck ever, and if you can't roll when it matters, that... It's unfortunate, yeah, and, but and on the this deck is not in any way immune to not getting the starting army blown out either. So that's true. Yeah, the O'Donnell turning player planer turn two definitely helps slow things down a little bit. And uh, obviously, those Adinias are incredibly difficult to kill. We found out even for dragons. Uh, that was pretty unexpected. That's what happens when a when a Deveranian defects. <laughs> Was it Dinia? Oh yeah, it was a dev. Yeah. Look at that. The the genus line is Deveranians. Good call. Yeah, I did not notice that. Well, very good games, man. Uh, on the bright side, neither of us was really playing for anything, so it's not like you know, missed out yeah, on top not. eight or anything. And I think it was just nice to get more games in. Yeah, yeah. And I think we played like I said three of the last four. I know you beat me at least one of them. Did you get me in both? I think it was just the one. Okay. Um, trying to remember here, it was the the classes in session tournament. Your Cerulea Calyx deck got me. Okay. I want to. Um, I think we played in Ancients, and you got me right. I was running Corios. Who did you have? Um, the Ancients tournament. I want to say I was running Zod. Okay. I don't remember. Yeah, it's. it's like, uh... Probably Zod or Adorami or something like that. Um, it might have been Adorami. I think you got me with that. Yeah. Something along those lines. But uh, we just kind of trade games back and forth. So, you know, next tournament you'll get me. <laughs> yeah. Something uh, like that. We can hop on over to the giveaway. I, I know you aren't necessarily looking for a lot of cards right now. But if you want them, I can still... I, I will hand deliver them to you in person. How does that sound? That sounds great. At worst, they end up going to one of the new players. Actually, uh, both of my roommates started playing, so that's, that's awesome. Yeah, so I saw one of them was in the Minnesota Discord. It'll be, we'll have to get was... a uh, in-person tournament set up this summer too. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a couple of them, a couple of them going. Uh, oh, yeah. One second. Recording these bushes right here. One second. That's not what I need to be doing. Yeah, if you've seen the giveaway. It'll show all of the uh, the options on stream. If not, all you have to do is roll a d20 on untap, and I will tell you what you get. No one has rolled a nat 1 or a nat 20 yet. All right. Got a 15. 15. Two Ancients Rares. All right. There's some good stuff in here. It's a stack this big. For those watching on stream, shuffle it up. See what we get. There are duplicates as well. If we draw a duplicate, it goes back in the stack. We'll draw a new card for you. Just so you're not in get not getting two of the same thing. First off, we have Ray's level five wizard action. That is not one that I think sees too much play. Spend order. For each of your next three orders, skip that order and instead perform a range strike with a bonus equal to this wizard's skill. These strikes may target an additional rank away if you have more cards in hand than each opponent. It's not um, terrible. If I'm remembering correctly, Plane of, Se Plane of Secrets. Oh, no. No, it was Epic Edition. All right. Um, yeah. I remembered uh, one of those one of those cards similar to that. It wasn't Raze. It was Prismatic Spray. Or no, Prismatic oh, that, Surge. That, yeah. that was an all-star in uh, Master K. Yeah, a prismatic, uh, prismatic spray or sur surge, I think it is. Is I have that in my, um, or I think I have it in Emperor Kahalis. Yeah, the the Medusa and Lord is Master K, but yeah, it's very good in there. So raise, it's not terrible, and you may you do raise the point of Emperor Kahalis as well. He doesn't have to spend for it. That's not bad. I've I've never super loved those cards where it's like on your next order, skip this order. I know some of them can be very good, but just. Your opponent can do something in that time that you can't do something in response to. The uh, rogue melee strike one. 
Oh, yeah. So, That's good for rogues. Yeah. Is it powerful swing for barbarians that can destroy an item? I think so. I think that's what it because that's pretty good for fighter item destruction. That's something you really only see in Druid, so it's not terrible. And our next uh, card, ooh. Next card is Fior, the level one elf hero. Kind of a unique card. Uh, it's got a lot of text on here. It may scribe fighter actions and it's plus one level for performing action cards. It has scribe plus six. React once per game. After Fior performs a scribed action, she permanently gains plus 10 skill, plus 2 HP, and the ethereal trait. Put up to four levels of undead elves from your discard pile into play. Do not let the Ardnalus players hear about this one. But no, fighter actions are pretty inconsistent for them to play, but I feel like in the right deck it could be decent. I mean, if you're playing like Winter Eternal or something like an elf fighter, we have Thrust. I mean, it's definitely going to be a target, but it, it, it's something you could do fun things to do with it and ultimately there's not really any dead cards in warlord other than the ones that say this action is a stealth action so <laughs> you can play just yeah. about anything uh death for death is not amazing i'm sure it has a spot maybe teferoth or something but plus six to kill this character is not the best but no i mean every card can and a lot of them do have a place so you do make a good point there um so what do you think do you wanna want me to bring these two at the next tournament, or do you want me to add them to the dragon's horde for a viewer? Add them to the horde. All right, sounds good. Always a pleasure playing, man. I, I do like playing later in the tournament when both of us are out of it, then one of us having to give the other a loss early on. That always sucks. Yeah. It was well, a good time, and uh, I guess this is the final round, so I'll do a sign off for the month. Uh, uh, I said it in Discord as well, but I will not be able to play in Good, Bad, and Ugly because of work, unfortunately. I will see what my availability is for doing Top 8 coverage for uh, this tournament, the uh, Build a Warlord, because I love it and I want to cover it as much as I can. So uh, work schedule permitting, I'll hopefully be able to hop in on a match or two in the Top 8. Otherwise, I would like to do a reject deck list like uh, Vac has done as well. That'll probably be either with uh, Les Luna here or Zant Primus. Who dropped early in the tournament uh wasn't able to play the rest of his matches but i'm gonna hope to squeeze in a little bit of content here at the end of the month otherwise i will see y'all in june uh thanks for watching the stream thanks for watching the vod i appreciate you coming out